Welcome to Middle East Energy 2025. Today, we are talking to the leadership team of Motwani Manufacturing Company. Mr. Nikhil Bhamidabadi and Mr. Pangat Gek was with us. They are going to talk to us about Motwani's growth prospects and the purpose behind they are exploring Middle East and African markets. Uh, Motwani is not just a brand. It's a technology traveling to new age. And uh, the journey started 100 years ago. And uh, we have traveled from analog to digital, digital to PC connected, and from PC connected to cloud connected equipments. And the journey is just because of the customers. And customers, they give us their requirement. And our R&D builds the equipments which are real in the time and uh, accordingly uh, we get a good response from the global market you spoke about how you do efforts to stay relevant in the market can you share us a little more about it yeah now the market want the latest technology the earlier days the testing was done on the analog meters the people used to write down the results then they started storing it in a pc and now they just don't want to store in a pc they want a latest technology of artificial intelligence in picture where the big data will be gathered on the cloud and from that uh, cloud data you can derive some uh, logics and algorithms are written on that so that you can go not only up to measurement but you can go up to predictive maintenance so that that will save a lot of money not not only the money but it will also help the customer in saving their capex, opex, human uh, safety as well as the carbon emission. So all the present time needs are addressed through this artificial intelligence technology. Where we are traveling our equipments and all the designs, that is why we say that it is relevant to the time. So a few years back, we also launched two new products into the market. Yes. Uh, how these products are performing currently? Yeah, a few years back, we uh, man, uh, launched this oil uh, BDV testers as well as oil tan delta testers. So, uh, it is our pleasure to tell that these are having the features which are the unique features in the world, we can say. So, uh, this is having a QR code generation feature which only our company is giving for transformer oil testing where it is actually saving the pain area of the customer that is uh, the identification of oil samples. Oil sampling bottles, they look same. But when you taste the oil and if you put a QR code on it, which is generated by the machine, then it is very easy to identify for which oil, what is the taste results. So that's a, a very important feature which we have added. And this is only available with our oil insulation test kit. Similarly, for oil tan delta test kit, we have given a product which is having all international standards free, free program so you can just select the standard and you can taste the oil and it is having automatic oil drain feature so so that there will not be oil spillage so all these are unique features which are which we have provided and these oil testers are have got very excellent response from this market all the Wimpy labs dubai electricity labs sharjah electricity labs adnoc they are using our products very happily and we are getting repeat orders. You uh, acquired telemetrics equipment recently. Yes. How this is adding more value to your product? Yeah, okay. actually, uh, I can say Motwani was more into the insulation testers range or uh, general test equipment range like transformer testing, motor testing and uh, oil testing. But the cable was left away. So after taking over telemetrics, we have also entered big way in the cable testing market. So underground cable is a big area worldwide because a lot of overhead lines are going underground globally. So always it is very essential to uh, note that uh, requirement of the market and uh, finding underground cable fault is a tricky and the technology plays an important role over here. So the telemetrics product when we brought to our range, our R&D also helped in developing few more features in it. So it's a two technocrats combined together to give the best solution to the global customers. And uh, we are we have proven it best. So right now, Sharjah Electricity has given us 16 repeat orders for the cable fault locating range. Dubai Electricity has given four repeat orders. 
and now it is continued journey for all the gcc market these are just examples i have told but not only gcc southeast asia also accepted this product range widely because motwani being a old brand it was known and the expectation from the customers have enhanced and by joining hands with telemetrics we both as a two technocrat together is giving the best solution so that's why it's well accepted globally like uh, the kind of acceptance what your brand is securing day to day yes can you share us the what kind of efforts goes into it um india is a world supplier of softwares so in india you get a great software scientist so we have build a very good team of scientists who are working on not only uh, the hardware technology but the software artificial intelligence we got end to end solution so first we are understanding the customer pain areas what are the requirements and what they want to derive from our products once we determine the customer requirement properly then we launch it to our scientists and then they give the best solution which will suit to their requirement which will enhance their expectation and every year we are going to upgrade and uh, give the best solution that's only the way to remain in the global market and uh, as indian software engineers are the great i can say in the world we have all the products which are software based how do your iot kits uh, are enhancing operational efficiency for the uh, customers fundamentally we have three areas which we focus on when we talk about customer improvements fundamentally what we're trying to say is that reliability asset life and asset efficiency these are the three areas that we target because now these assets are quite uh, high value assets and they're quite critical infrastructure for any plant so the the most important thing in order of priority would be the reliability making sure that there is no unplanned breakdown efficiency making sure that the uh, overall efficiency of the plant is maintained at a high level and the over, the uh, capex as well so that you can delay the purchase of the equipment by ensuring optimal performance of it uh, this we do basically by predictive maintenance and giving data to the customers for them to take timely action in today's scenario uh, market need real time data analysis absolutely and uh, uh, rapid decision making process absolutely uh, how do you support your customers from that perspective so what we have is actually we have a extensive customer base so the number of installations we have are huge and each time there is a new uh, installation that happens that data gets added to the overall machine learning algorithm we have essentially uh, an extensive installation base with over 350 million data points now using that we are able to analyze customer data and give very insightful information around the prediction of how the asset will perform we have invested extremely heavily in r&d we are always at the forefront and cutting edge of any technological development and we want to maintain that edge this has been an r&d driven organization from its inception and we very keen to maintain that philosophy and culture in the organization so even within our division and across the entire group ensuring that the drive comes from the r&d is how we make sure that we are stay at the forefront of the uh, transformation do you also provide uh, uh, digital uh, solutions training to your in house staff themselves? that is a huge emphasis for us in fact we are developing our own in house platform to ensure this happens called motwani academy that has been a huge priority for both me and the chairman and everyone in the uh, even uh, we are doing the certification courses designing those courses for our customers yes so we have customer courses we have in house courses we have uh, service engineer courses so our goal is very much to enhance the overall education within this entire sector within the organization we probably trained about 150 people and outside the organization we've given trainings to around 40 uh, customers so this is customer teams which is usually not just a few people but an entire team of maybe 15 people in their control room so uh, i would say on the overall we've probably trained 150 uh, professionals. professionals as well and uh, both in house and outside well. dubai office is very critical for you for your 
growth prospects as well as strategy can you share the significance of uh, middle east this is definitely one of the key sectors from an international perspective key geographies i would say from an international perspective and we know that growth in the middle east is a given like everyone is extremely clear about this and the market is extremely bullish on middle eastern growth middle east i consider to be by far and away one of the biggest growth areas worldwide the emphasis on technology here is far beyond anything i've seen anywhere else and we are very keen to be a part of that tra- transformation uh, can you talk more about how do you customize your learnings to make uh, better solutions and uh, support the market individual equipments we have developed a lot i can say hundreds of products motoni has developed and given to the world which are having unique features now the customer want a combined solution modular system which can fit in a van like structure and the van can travel so that it will be a lab on wheels so uh, we have got a lab on wheels for cables now we have a lab on wheels for transformers so transformer testing van which is comprising of all individual products what you see over here like transformer ratio meter winding resistance oil bd tester tangent delta oil tan delta insulation testers all coming together and combined together in a console where you can see all the results and it will not only save the pain but it will save the time which is an essence for the time being because always when you do these kinds of offline measurement you have to take a shutdown and again the time is going for the connection to the transformer but when you combine all together when you do once the connection all the parameters sequentially will be tested through a logic so there is a plc logic through which all the equipments are combined together and you get a single test report for all the parameters and this lab you can move because this is a modular lab which is based on the customer requirement and which can travel from one place to another place and then you can have artificial intelligence technology what what nikhil's department has developed on a platform called motware on that motware you can gather many transformers data to convert it into the fleet monitoring similarly all the cable network can be on a cloud similarly now we are going for these kinds of various labs on wheels it could be a lab for circuit breaker it could be a lab for transformer oils so you will get multiple lab on wheels from what one incoming feature you are bringing more mobility for your solutions yeah. the, how did you derive into this kind of concept if you can expand a little more see the customers have taught us a lot they came us to us with their pain areas they they came us with the solution finding uh, behavior what uh, they have demanded how they can monitor hundreds of transformers how they can monitor different kinds of uh, oils and really correlate it with the offline as well as online parameters so our r&d came out with a platform called motware where we have combined all our test equipment as well as online gadgets so you get a real time data as well as offline data on the same platform from which then artificial intelligence they have designed the logic and artificial engines they that played an important role to give the predictive solutions yeah, which are definitely useful and it has saved a time also through multiplex equipments in a van like structure so multiplexing is one solution fleet monitoring is another solution predictive analytics is another solution so all the solutions came together to make us unique how this all are going to encourage smart grid movement yeah the grid will become smart if the assets are smart uh, so what we are doing with the digital technology as well as offline test equipment we are making the transformer smart we are making the cable smart so that they can whisper about their own health so taking control is uh, stada but uh, first thing is monitoring monitoring offline gathering it on the same platform monitoring it online gathering it on the same platform then derive the logic and give the predictive an- analytics to which will save them what mr pangad gekwad was mentioning that a grid becomes smarter when the assets become smart and they have the solutions that designs future of smart grids sir thank you so much for interacting with epr magazine good to see you all and all the best for middle east energy expo